What's going on, Pisces? What is poppin', Pisces? Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who get private readings and donate. And thank you for all of you who go onto my web and purchase my items, such as my oils. This is my oils, and you can get this in a dry form or in a powder form. This is the salt that I use for my salt baths, okay? There it is. All right. Um, this is the walnut um, uh, bath that is good. And anybody know that they take a bath with this? It speaks to truth. Ain't no telling what's going to come out of it. This is the pineapple sage. It comes with two bottles Santo. This is what I'm known for my black magic spell breaker candle. I'm the queen of breaking spells. All right. Um, I can tell you everything to do. Um, this is to break spells or anybody doing spell work or thinking negative or bringing negative things to you. Um, this is the help abundant and wealth candle. Okay. And the one that I got in red comes in pink. It's not in red. This is love candle, but I made it the love yourself candle behind me is the rest of my chakra candles. All right. I also have. All kinds, this is the watermelon stone. Anybody know about it? Check it out. All kinds of stones. Um, the tiger eye. Um, all kinds of bracelets, jewelry, everything you want to know about. Okay. Um, Pisces, I want to say something before I get into my reading. Um, I've been reading the comments. Um, I've been going through all the comments that people are leaving, what they saying. Um, I noticed that it's this one person there that um, says, oh, in one comment, um, she says, um, I would never get a reading about you. I'm looking for love. A bitch, listen to me, ho. Ain't nobody telling you to keep watching me. Get the fuck out of here. And let me tell you something. If y'all all stroll to my comments, y'all going to see who I'm talking about. Because I left a comment under each one of your comments. All right, why are you still watching me? Why are you still looking for shit? You can't find love because you nasty. You're evil. How the fuck somebody going to love you? You evil as fucking hell. You want to think somebody's going to love you with your nasty ass attitude? If you ain't got nothing to say nice, get the fuck out of here. I don't need you. That's the thing. I don't need you. Why are you wasting your breath leaving an, a negative energy on my YouTube? Don't you know you don't count for shit? You don't make me. You don't break me. You looking at YouTube because you searching for yourself. And what you searching for is that love from somebody else. You need to love yourself first. All right. Now, I'm going to let you know. Go on to your comment. I'm sure you got what I sent you back. And that's what the fuck I meant. All right. Get the fuck out of here. Listen to me. Y'all already know I'm the realest and I get with you the way you come to me. Don't play with me. You are in my house. There's plenty of other YouTubers you can go and watch. I'm sure you're going to find the one for you. All right? I'm not putting no gun, no knife to nobody to continue to watch me. This is a general reading, bitch. If you want your private reading, you want it to be all about you, then you need to pay to get a reading. That's the problem. People watch a general reading, then y'all go off on the readers. Why? Because you don't want to pay for a reading. This is not all about you. It's a general reading. Do you understand what a general reading means? It's everybody's reading. Okay? This can resonate with anybody and everybody. Okay? So why are you leaving these negative um, comments about whatever it is that you don't like? Um, I won't get a reading because you can't fucking afford a damn reading for me, bitch. I'll read your ass straight through. Do you understand? Don't play with me. Don't play with me because you get ready to get cursed the fuck out. You lucky I ain't really fucking saying your fucking whole comma, comma, comma name, bitch. Stop playing with me. Get the fuck out of here. All right? And poof, poof to you. Reverse your negative energy on my YouTube back to you. Poof, back to you. Do you understand? Back to you. I'm not wasting my time with your little sorry bitchy ass. All right? All right? For real. Don't keep watching me. Who the fuck are you? Shit. You fucking mad because you can't afford a reading. But you want to leave some negative shit under my shit. Because that ain't resulting with you. 
All right? Bitch, get it for real. Go to somebody else. Please go. Exit your ass out of here. All right? Please do. Moving on. Oh, I read the comments. Yes, I do. Don't think I don't read your comments. I read all of your comments, including one, the one that solicited um, whatever they want to do. You know, uh, want you to go in there and whatever they try to pay for sex or whatever. I ain't got time for all that bullshit. And I'm not going through my whole YouTube looking about who's soliciting sex or trying to promote their business under me. I ain't got time for that shit. God takes care of that. The same way God is going to take care of your negative energy that you're bringing into my YouTube. With your negative comments. Baby, please. Yeah, read what I'm saying. I'm not changing anything. Get out of here. And I left it there for everybody to read your damn comment. What I said to you. And then after I get done with that, I block your ass. That's what I'm getting ready to do. But everybody can go and read what I told her. Why the fuck you still sitting here watching me? I'm leaving it right there so everybody can read what I wrote you. And then after everybody reads what I wrote you, then I'm going to delete you and block you from my YouTube. That's the way I'm going to do that. Do you understand? You got the right one. I'm not going to see and play with you. No wonder these YouTube be cursing people out. Because y'all ignorant as hell. Y'all watching people for free, but then y'all want to leave negative shit on it. Baby, please. All right, now. Let's get popping with this reading. All right? It's now 2 o'clock, 2.02. All right? 2.02. I'm sitting here watching my hummingbirds. I'm so happy they don't have no bumblebees around them. I fought them bumblebees yesterday. And that's why I did my reading late because I was out there spraying them down with the hose. And making sure my babies are not disturbed while they're drinking their sweet old water. That's right, baby. They so cute. All right, now. All right. All right, spirits, tell me what I need to know. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Let me know what Pisces need to know on this lovely day. And let me tell you, this is a general reading. Take what apply and leave the rest behind. If it ain't for you, don't make it fit and don't leave no negative shit under my shit. Again, it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you don't know what it means, Google it up. Okay? Now, for all those who my general readings helping you, I'm glad and I'm happy for you. All right? Take advantage of it. All right, now. The nine of swords. Somebody here can't get no sleep. Somebody here is all in their head. Somebody is, you know, just... Um, having just building all these negative thoughts in their head that's keeping them up at night, um, can't sleep, um, can't think over the negative things that they feed themselves. All right, so somebody here is definitely up about everything that whatever they thinking about that's um, keeping you up from all the drama you feeding yourself. Okay, it's like sometimes. We make ourselves believe in all the worst things that are going on or how things is not working for us or how this and that is not going our way, okay? And that comes from you constantly thinking and thinking and thinking. Your mind is overwhelmed. Your mind is working a thousand miles per hour. You, you can't stop thinking. Your mind is running. You need to go get some Xanax or something, something to calm your ass down or have a drink. Or whatever it is. But it's something you need to bring you down. Because your mind is racing and racing and racing. And let me tell you. That is us Pisces. Our mind will raise a mind. It's like we. That's why it's hard. It took me a long time to learn to meditate. Because while I was learning to meditate. My mind was about cooking. What am I doing today? All of this. Alright. So it's hard for Pisces to really stay in tune in one place. My mind runs all the time, okay? So, it's something here that you are over-exaggerated in your own head. You're making it bigger than what it is, all right? You're feeding yourself everything you don't need to even put in your head, all right? Negative thoughts are taking over you. 
All right? Or it's something, look at this. You're not seeing things for what it is. You don't want to see it for what it is. You need to take the blind pros. You need to make a decision here. All right? What is keeping you up? What, what, is, what is in your head that it doesn't stop from um, um, going? It's like a non-stop uh, mind that it doesn't never, even when you sleep, you, you go to bed thinking before you sleep. You know, you probably lay there a couple minutes or thinking about whatever it is, all right? Um, but it's taking a lot of, it's consuming a lot of your time, all right? Um, but you need to take the blind post in order to make the right decision or what is, what you got in your head is keeping you bothered or what is keeping you, you know, like this, like what is keeping you in this bottle with this cap that you can't seem to get out of? Open the cap so you can free yourself from your thoughts, okay? Take the blindfolds off so you can see and make the right decision on whatever it is that you need to make a decision and see it for what it is, all right? The page of wands, right? Right next to making the decision. If you make the right decision, the pages are coming to you with news, coming to you with something that... um. Young, something young, something um, starting up, you know, making you feel. It's like if you get out of your head and you see things and make that right decision, now it's time to um, um, start something new because it's something new. It's something young, all right, it, that can make you feel young, all right, um, but you got to move forward. You got to stop um, being in your head about a situation, all right? Um, the more you, you think, the more it is, is too much, okay? The more you are in your thoughts. It's like your mind is racing, racing. You don't know how to get out of this. Well, maybe you don't know how to get out of it because you are... Um, Overwhelmed with the decision you need to make. All right. Um, sometimes it's like you create all it is in your head. All right. But with this, it says, please, please, let's just do it. So whatever it is that you in your head about, it's time for you to get out of your head, make a decision, and let's do this. Somebody is saying, listen. Why don't you stop being all in your head and let's get going with this? Why are you so in your head about making this decision? Why don't you just do it? Okay? Um, you or your situation. Well, ain't you just um, a little firecracker? I mean, you are like a fire. Okay? Now, it's a new opportunity, right? A new opportunity. Okay? Uh, that is waiting for you to create. All right, it's awaiting you. The page is fire, wanting you to come on now. Saying you um, you're coming to expect an uh, unexpected. It's like you are expecting this unexpected, right? What you expecting the unexpected and the the fire of your passion always get um um fanned by. The excitement, possibility that lies before you. So, it's something that you keep thinking about, right? That you need to make a decision to move on from it. But it's like, you don't know. You're excited, but you don't know what what to expect from this decision. That you're not trying to see it for what it is. All right? But it's like... You don't know, you're damn if you do and you're damn if you don't. You don't know what to expect from this. You don't know what to get out of this, all right? But it's there for you to do, but when you're going to do it, all right? Uh, or when, it's something here you need to stop worrying about, all right? Um, uh, even if it means taking a risk, right? You embracing the, um... Adventure that you, um, that you, that your angels have led at your feet. It's something that's going to land at your feet, right? But you don't know how 
how to take it. You don't know whether to take it or not. You don't know. It's like the unexpected is what you're afraid of. The unexpected. What are you so afraid of? Right? You're afraid of, of the outcome. Right? You're afraid of that it may not work the way you want it to work for you. All right? That's what the problem is. You don't know what to expect from it. You understand? That's the problem here. You don't know what to expect. All right? You don't know what to take from it. So that is the problem. Um, but you need to move on. Because if you don't take a leap on it, if you don't know what you're getting into, you ain't going to know unless you do it. But it's something here that's saying it's landing at your feet. Do it. But you undecided about it. All right? But you need to take the blindfold so you can see. Right? Most of the time, you look, you feel like a child running to the entrance of a amusement park. So, you know, most of the time, that's how you feel like you're in an amusement park. You're coming in the door, you know, when you're little, your mom takes you to the amusement park. You ready to get on a ride. You ready to eat popcorn. You ready to do this. You ready to do that. It's like you just want to leave your mom's hand and just run and run to anything you want. Right? But you're excited about it. Right? And this is what it's telling you. Why don't you get to go? All right? But you're thinking. You're overthinking. You're not looking at it for what it is. Because you're not taking the blindfolds to see it for what it is. Okay? It's hard to say where you get your inspiration. Really? Okay? Where do you get your inspiration from? It's hard to say where you get it from. Sometimes you are um, exhausted by motivating people who come into your life. And that's true. Like, you can't expect somebody to do everything. They, they, they just they wear you out, right? Sometimes it's your own personal um, um, study that sparks the fame, okay? Anyway, you know it really doesn't matter because the fire in you isn't going out anytime soon. The fire in you is not going out anytime soon, baby. So you need to get out of your head, make a decision, take the blindfold, see shit for what it is, and get started with it. All right? And get going with it. Whatever it is, you're excited, but you're afraid. You, you want to go in here and you want to do everything, but you don't know how. You don't know if it's going to turn out good or turn out bad. All right? You question yourself. Right? Go, um, uh, um, go blaze the, a trail of success. And all of this is going to be successful, all right? But before you go, there's just one little thing. Could you please, please finish what you started? What is it that you've been putting in the back burner that you ain't finished? What is it that you need to do? That you keep holding back on. What is it? What is it. That you are afraid. Of. Of doing. But. And this reminds me of. I keep telling you. I want to make these tacos. I got this taco stand. I need to go do it. And I've been saying this for the longest. And I still have not gone over there to do it. But I know my food is good. But I'm just afraid. Is, some, is anybody going to buy my food? Or uh, it's, it's going to waste my time. You know, it's like I keep questioning myself. But I got this idea that I can do good with it. And I know I can. I can do good with it. And I know I can. Okay. But I don't know why I don't want to do it. Afraid of, I don't understand it. But it's something here that you need. Or it's whatever it is, it's telling you, you are losing sleep over this. You think you're overthinking a situation. You're it's like you beat yourself down. You bottling yourself up for what? All right. You don't see things for what it is. You're afraid to look at it for what it is. You don't want to make a decision. You need to take the blinds off to make a decision. That's going to spark something up like fire. It's going to be just burning. And it ain't going to let out. It's going to keep burning and burning and burning. You can't turn the fire off. Alright. Um, 
It's something here you need to do. And whatever it is that you need to do, or whatever the situation you in, that you need to do it. Look at this. The Seven of Wands. Okay. I'm oh, okay. Okay. So the seven of wands. It's like, let me tell you something. You are on fire. The seven of wands is you made it to where you need to be. See, once you decide to do what you need to do, not only that, you are protected. The angels are protecting you and the plans or whatever it is that you got there. It's like you are protected. You're protecting yourself. You're in a bubble. And no matter how much they try to bust you or, um, like I said, like I said about that girl, whoever this person is leaving these messages, um, 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 or my, um, these comments, um, you know, like you trying to bust my bubble, but you can't because you can't do what I do. You out of what? 1300 people that I'd help you out of one out of 13. It's like, are you crazy? Like are something wrong with you? You know, um, but it's like, you don't have to prove your point because you are the point. You don't have to keep telling somebody what you're capable of doing. You are everything. All right? It's like you make a, a, a box of um, pancakes, a mix, and you put it on a store shelf. Motherfuckers got to do, make your ingredients to get your pancakes right or your cake or your candles. It's like people trying to copy and paste you. People are mad because you made it to where they want to be. Okay, so they hate on you rather than congratulate you. But it took you a long time to get here. All right, you've been questioning yourself. Are you good enough? You know, can I do this? It's something here you need to do and you need to take the blindfolds off so that you can make a decision so that you can get the spark of a little kid entering a, um, a museum or, um, or festivity. All right, or a carnival, ready to enjoy themselves. That's how the feeling that you're getting. And once you get that feeling, that young thing inside of you that you can do it, that you can, that you are full of fire to do this, then you come into this seven of wands sitting in this a big old bubble, protecting yourself from the haters. Okay, protecting yourself from people that mad. At you, but sitting in your face and saying, oh, I'm happy for you, but they're mad as fuck at you. All right? I mean, protecting your, your, your creativity, what you have done. All right? Many people can duplicate my candles. Many people can do my salt baths. But let me tell you, you won't get the same results as you get with my shit. Because it's my energy. Okay? It's me. It's my hands, all right, that makes my products. That's what it's about. And it's something here that you're dying to do. But you got a lot of people happy for you and a lot of people hating on you. So you got um, maybe seven people that hating the fuck out of your ass. And, but they're watching you, but they like what you do, but they sit in your face, hee hee, oh yeah, you look nice, oh that's nice, I like the way you do this, oh I can, mm, yeah I can do this, and don't tell nobody what you're going to do, you know why, because they're going to march their ass up there and do exactly what you say you're going to do, right, but guess what Pisces, don't worry about if they're going to do what you're going to do, you know why, because it ain't nothing that they can do, right, that will be like yours. And if they sat next to you and did everything just like you, it still won't be your shit. All right? I bet you if they sat there and put all their candles out on a table, all their salt bath, all their herb bath, all their jewelry, I guarantee you, next to me, I, and I ain't making this shit up. Okay? I ain't putting no big old bubble in my head. I don't have to do that. Okay? My word speaks for itself. All right? If somebody can read cards and go next to me and read a card, I'm they're going to read you in a card. By cards, I'm going to read you by your energy. Because I don't read the cards. I read energy. Okay? And that's what it is. If somebody, you, it's bad enough you question yourself. It's bad enough you need to take the blindfolds and see everything you want to see for what it is. 
right? To get the spark to do it, right? And then to create it, right? And then to borrow it and then to make it profess, right? Like you got to make it right, right? And then you got people hating on you and want to do the same thing. You got on the dress, they got on the same dress you got. You wear your hair a certain way, they wear their hair a certain way. You got a certain color, they got a certain color. You got eyelashes, they want eyelashes. You buy a bottle of perfume, they want to buy a bottle of perfume. You got a man with a big dick, they looking for the man with the big dick. What the fuck? All right, and it can be anybody. It can be even the people you sleeping with. All right? Who knows? All right? But it's crazy how people can be, right, jealous and envy of nothing because they can do the same thing you do. And I don't care. There's enough money for every fucking body. All right? But don't wish me bad. Don't hate on me. Don't talk about me. All right? When you got choices to make, nobody's saying stay. The door is there. It's open. Come. All right? Oh, Lord. All right, now. Tell me everything. Tell me everything that I need to know. Tell me everything I need to know, spirits. Tell me everything you want me to know. Tell me what I need to see. It's not what I want to see. It's what you, I'm asking you to tell me what you want me to see. Show me what I need to know. All right? Tell me. Guide me, spirits. Showing me what it is that I need to see. It's not what I want to see. It's what I need to see. All right? Tell me more about this nine of swords. Why are you all up in your head, Pisces? Tell me more about this nine of swords, spirits. Why is Pisces in the head? Somebody's in their deep thoughts. Somebody can't stop thinking. You got a lot of swords here. But you got the swords turn into wands, fire. All right? The hermit. You, you're going deep within yourself. You're searching for the light. All right? Um, you're not... Um, it's like whatever it is you want, you're looking for it, but you're going solo. You're going within. All right? You got that lantern that's guiding you the way, even in the dark, where you don't see things. Whatever it is, it's, it's keeping you up. Whatever it is, is in your head. You, you're going solo with it, but you're going to get the answers because at the end of the tunnel, okay, you get the answer. So are you messing with Gemini Libra Aquarius? Is it a Virgo involved? Okay. Sagittarius, um, is it a Sagittarius? Um, is it a um Aries? Is it a Leo? Okay. Okay, you got that that hermit. That hermit is telling you, all right, well, what else? What else it, it, it needs to be? Okay, what else? What do you want to know? Why are you in a place that you in, right? Um uh, and it's the number nine, you know, you, 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 you don't, you, you just need to really pay attention to what is it in you? What is it in you? You understand? What is it in you that, um, lights that fire? All right. Um, Sometimes we, we go within ourselves because we don't know who to trust, all right? We don't know what to believe in. Um, and so, therefore, if, if that's how you feel, then let's find out. You know what I mean? It's like people naturally assume that the hermit is alone. The hermit is never alone, okay? Well, surprise. He's not, right? He's the great spiritual monitor of the top of, that stands on top of this mountain. And he's, he's looking, right? He's monitoring what's going on, okay? Holding that light for others seeking below, right? This card can indicate the need to either find a mentor or become one. 
All right, so you all in your head. All right, so are you looking for a mentor? Are you looking for answers? Are you looking for guidance, right? Um, so, um, it's something here that, which place are you in in your life right now? It's questioning you. Are you seeking a teacher? Okay. Or are you already the teacher? If, of course, this card can indicate being alone, but most of the spiritual solution that you choose for yourself, okay? So you choose is something that you want guidance, something that you're looking for, a mentor. This remind me of um, the heart, okay? You're looking for somebody. You're looking for someone to, maybe you're looking at tarot, um, but you're looking for the answer in some type of way. They can relieve you from what you're going through, the thoughts that's running through your head. All right? Um, if if a desire, if it's a desire to go inward and revisit some of your insight you discovering with the highest priest. So, again, the highest priest is you. So, you're going within yourself. You're searching for that answer, right? You're looking for what is true, but you got a lot of secrets. It's like you're keeping a lot to yourself. You're going through this in your head. You got a brainstorm just cooking in your head, all right? Uh, this card can also indicate the need for you to shine the lights for others to see come out of this darkness, and it shows um, the seven of wands coming out. People don't like how they seeing you coming out. Self discovery, taking a peaceful break from society. Right? Um, it's like it's a mystery of life, and it's like people searching for the enlightenment, reconnecting with source. It's something here that you seek it. Right? Something here that you are. Having this brainstorm, but you're not alone, but you're looking for it's like the highest priest and a hermit reminds you of the same thing. It's like looking for um this mentor to teach you to tell you which way to go. That's why maybe you're watching YouTube's because it's like you're looking for this answer within you, right? So then you got the two of swords and the page of wands. All right, you got to take the blog post to see what you want, right? So, you got the Knight of Wands. Look at you. And it's a woman on this horse. Maybe you got red hair. Maybe you got blonde hair. Maybe you light skin. All right? You on fire. It's like you searching for this inner peace within you. But the light has always been there. You always, you looking down at everything. Or going through your head. It's like you're constantly going through this brainstorm. Looking and thinking about everything, 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 everything. If you can screw your head off and empty your head, you'll be good. Real good. But as you're seeking, it's like you're watching YouTube seeking for the answers. Seeking for a monitor, mentor, somebody like me. All right? All right? Um, but it's like, yeah. Whatever it is that you're seeking into, right? It's like the Knight of Wands. It's like you're going into this and you're moving towards it to seeing things in the light, right? But you got this King of Wands that wants to come flying, all right? Maybe this person is looking at you. Maybe they, they don't understand how you can be so dark. Like you can be to yourself, you don't speak. You, They don't understand how one minute they, you cool and the next minute you're not. Because it's like what the thoughts that are racing through your mind is you trying to figure out how somebody is or why they doing this or why they ain't doing this. You're trying to figure out how, why this person got too many sides to them. Or why does this story, every time you turn the page, it's something different and different and different like Everything they say don't add up to what they do. 
okay? But this King of Wands is looking, wanting to rush back in, all right? Just watching you go through this and don't understand you, okay? But it's a lady here riding this horse, and it's the King of Wands, and it's the Knight of Wands. So this King of Wands is watching you running to rush in, right? But it's like you are in this hermit mode, right? It's like this person can't figure you out to save their life. You're kind of, you're like um, a mystery to this person, and they are a mystery to you. It's like, what the fuck? All right? Huh, this person wants to come into your life. You got the seven of one, but a bunch of haters. But guess what? The world is there. It's like this person, I don't know, it's somebody that's looking at you and looking at everything. How you are, how they don't understand you, how they want to understand you, but they can't. You're too complicated for them. But here you are with the world. Okay, and here's somebody trying to, it's like you trying to figure them out, they trying to figure you out. But here you got the world. And you tying the ends to this. Alright, because you feel like. These people or this person don't want the best for you. It's like, you, 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 this person ain't trying to offer me the world. I offer it to my damn self. I'm doing for myself. And I got to protect myself and my world from this person that I can't figure out. Because he, this person comes with too many uh, uh, um, puzzles and too many locks. And the key, with this key don't fit none of the locks because... It's too much going on, and it's like, in order, it's like this is how you feel. Let me just let it be and let it go because I can't keep putting puzzles together. Because every time I think it is what it is, it turns out to be something else. Like you are all over the place when it comes to this, all right? And it, it they don't help you get any kind of answers because it's like it, it's just too much. And again. Under this hermit, again, you got the seven of wands, the same card, which you protecting your energy. Here you are again, protecting yourself. The thing is, you're pretty high, right? And they're trying to reach you, but they can't because you're too high for them to reach. It's like the ladder don't go as high as you are. It's like you on stage and the people are watching you, but you see their hands and all this shit, but they can't touch you. They can't jump on stage to get to you. All right, so you protecting yourself while these people are still trying to bust your bubble. Uh, that's how you feel. Like You feel like, I need to protect my energy and myself from these people that is it's just too much. Like, I need to, you know, be on self-defense mode because ain't no telling what they can do or how they can come, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more. The Ten of Swords. Um, the Knight of Wands and the, the King of Wands. This person, maybe you feel like or this person feels like you overprotecting yourself. Or maybe you feel like this person stabbed you too many times in your back. Done too much wrong. All right? Left you for dead. Moved on and left you. All right? Um, like, you can't seem... It's like you overprotecting yourself. You got the seven of swords and then you got the ten of swords. So it's like... Somebody trying to beat you up. Somebody trying to tear you down. Somebody trying to just always tear you down and leaving you for dead. It's like, how many more times are you going to um, stab me in the back? Okay. How many times, how many times do I got all these people doing the same shit? When all I need to say, fuck everybody and walk away from everybody. Because I'm, I'm good. And that's how you feel like. This is too many stab wounds and too many backstabbings, okay? 
two-faced people, all right? This person got too many, too much or too much, all right? And that's how you feeling, right? Look at, now you got the hermit twice, all right? Whatever happened, it's like it's, it's like you feel like, I don't know if this happened in wintertime, I don't know what, but this one don't look like it's in the wintertime, this look like it's now, but this look like something happened to you then. It's like you sitting on top of the world. You got everything on your own. You can do good by yourself. But when it comes to you and this person or you and these people, it's like you got to let go of these people because you're looking down at everything you've been through. You looking for answers or, um, you know, from this person that left you for dead. All right? But you not showing up to them. You, um... They don't see you around. It's like they can't find you. It's like they you pretty much to yourself. Okay? Um, you're trying to figure things out on your own. Right? You're trying to see things for what it is. But you're trying to... That's why you're watching tarot. Because you, you're trying to get all these answers. And because this person got too many sides to them. Too many puzzles. Things don't add up, all right? And it's like, how many more times are you going to play me out? How many more times are you going to try to bring me down? How many more times do I got to build myself up for you to tear me down? How many times do you talk about me behind my back? How many times you nothing but a liar? It's like this person is too much for you. And that's why you're saying... I always got to be solo when it comes to this person. I cannot um, show show any parts of me to this person because it's like this person is too much. Look at this. For the seven of swords, right? For the seven of wands, I mean, you carrying too much in front of you. Too much weight. Too much responsibilities that aren't yours. Let that shit go. Let the people go, all right? If, if, if Sometimes you can't help people that don't want to help themselves. Sometimes you got to leave motherfuckers alone because you go from the seven of wands to the seven, from the seven of, of, of wands to the ten of wands. Like, you are done carrying this shit. It's like, if you can't help me with some of this weight, then what the fuck do I want to be with you for? If I got, if I'm carrying everybody, your problem is, why don't you release some of this off of me and make this easier for me? It's like somebody that is just too much and you like, I can't deal with it. Okay? The Ten of Swords. Alright? The Ten of Swords is the Eight of Pentacles. You do, by, you do good by yourself. Maybe you got your own business. Alright? Maybe you got your own business. Maybe you are, um, you got your own business. Maybe... Um, on top of that, you carry everybody's weight. On top of that, you helping everybody. Okay. On top of that, um, you know, you got yours and everybody's problems, but you working alone at this. You got your own money. It's like somebody is putting too much weight on you, but ain't helping you do shit. All right. They're not. Tell me more about this hermit. Tell me more about this hermit. Tell me more about this hermit. Tell me more. To two of wands. It's a bigger picture, honey. It's some, something very big, big that you're about to see. But look how far you are. Do you see that castle over there? Do you see that maybe um, something is far from you? Something you may think that this is too far. Like you can't see it. Like maybe somebody lives far from you. Maybe um, this person's put too much weight on you. It's not helping you live far. All right. Um, maybe you traveling somewhere. Maybe you moving. Maybe you moving to another country. Maybe you um, seeking for something to come your way. All right. Maybe you getting on a flight, a business trip. Okay. Maybe you look to buying a house or something, moving away from this. But you got the world, but you too to yourself. 
like you hard to figure out, all right? You're not telling people your plans, all right? You got a big plan to execute, um, but you're doing this by yourself, all right? It's something here that you may be um, going to purchase, all right? But again, you're doing two works by yourself, and you could ask for help. You could take some of the ones that ain't yours. You could take some of that weight off of you, but um, everything is you. Everything is on your back, all right? But it's a movement here, and it might be global, all right? Maybe you work, and maybe your work, you're working with people all over the world. Maybe you got a podcast. Maybe you got a YouTube. Maybe you travel for a living, but it's something here that is global, all right? That it's gonna it's gonna be good for you because it shows the world a completion, but it shows you having it all at the end, baby. You sitting on top of your game. You have the world in your hand. You got everything you want. But you're in a hermit. You're doing this alone. You searching for the answers. And at the end of the tunnel, you're gonna find it. Everything is gonna be coming to you just how you want it. All right. And you're working alone at this. And that's what's so hard that you're doing it alone with no one's help. No one, including me, shouldn't be doing this much work. But like I said, somebody here is definitely watching a lot of YouTubers. All right? Somebody here is looking for that mentor, looking for someone to... Help them to school them to, to bring them to the light to find that light at the end of the tunnel. Somebody's looking for this very spiritual person. And I'm gonna say it again my YouTube is about growth, it's about pulling you out and say, You know what bothers me is when somebody leave a comment and say, But I'm looking for love. Why don't you find love within yourself first? And then love will come to you and study searching so much for it. And watching so much YouTube. When they coming. How I'm going to get them. Are they coming today? When are they coming? It's like all about somebody else. When it become about you. When. That's the problem. It need to be about you. Don't you see. All the weight that you put on you. In your mind. You stress it mentally. Physically and emotionally. You stressed out. You are tired. Of being pulled in every direction. But you are only one person. You know, ain't nobody reaching out saying, I can help you, I can do this. So you go into the YouTubes so it can clear your mind and show you the way to go. All right? Clear your mind so that you can see. Clear the clutter in your house so that you can see. Make sure you eat right, drink plenty of water. All right? So you can take care of you. Because somebody here got too much going on. And they're doing it all by themselves. But they're looking for this big window to open up. And it will open up for you. But remember, don't put too much weight on you. Don't worry about it. Worry ain't going to get you nowhere. Just do the work. And continue to do the work. And don't let nobody tear you down. Okay? And you're going to be okay. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.